Hello adventurers, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. All the stuff uh, is getting done, appears. I did a whole bunch of scrap before I went to bed. Uh, we're getting a cutscene right away. The only thing I know we're waiting for is Grace is making a whole bunch of recipes with the ingredients we gave her. Uh, is today the, the day that everyone from the Free Cities arrives? Could be. Do we recognize? I recognize uh, Musa. I recognize one of the airmen. That's a, that's pretty much about it right now. Oh, and they're arriving uh, via the Porsche bus. And I do recognize the mayor. Uh, that's the shorter guy right there. That's that's all I can remember. Oh, people coming in via train as well, of course. Don't really recall who you might be, but uh, I think we'll find out as we go along. Oh, hello. You're up bright and early. Um, if, if you say so. I was just about to check our fine associates here into the Blue Moon before heading to City Hall for the big summit meeting. Hi. Hello. Greetings. They're all quite excited to meet with you and everyone else, but we need to take care of a bit of business first. Okay. In the meantime, why don't you check around town? We have speakers in Martel Square and on both of the Blue Moon stages all day covering a variety of topics. I sent to everyone an event schedule by mail. Check your mailbox if you haven't already. I checked it, I looked at it, and then I went, yep, and it's, it's, it's somewhere. I don't know if I even kept it. Not too sure. I'm a bit miffed myself, having to miss out on Moose's talk about money management. <sighs> but perhaps you can fill me in. Uh, you want me to fill you in on something I don't even know what happened? What, Later what? on in the evening, we'll finish <laughs> our summit and all head over to Luna's performance on the Blue Moon stage, followed by a fireworks show. Um, I got some fireworks of my own. Then, tomorrow, we'll announce the results of the summit, followed by a huge banquet in the Blue Moon to celebrate, rounding it all off with the maiden voyage of our airship on the morning after. Mayor Trudy... Daylight's wasting. Shall we? Uh, just a moment. I need to meet with... Hello, Sandrock! Miss Luna! So wonderful to finally make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, ma'am. <laughs> Where shall I put my things? Uh, what is all of that? Only the essentials, Miss Mayor. Makeup, wardrobe, microphones, cables, pyrotechnics. But don't worry, my delightful roadies are here to take care of everything. They're the best. Say hi, guys! Yo! Hiya. Oh, hello. Well, if you're sure you've got it, I'm sure Owen can make room somewhere in the Blue Moon. Please, Ms. Mayor, we're professionals. You just sit back, relax, and leave the entertainment to us. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Miss Luna. I'll just go with our other guests then. About time. Ling is in a hurry to get to things, I suppose. See you after the summit. And enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Hey, hi, I'm Luna. The Luna, the superstar? Um... Well, I'm just going to say who I am. Oh, I know who you are. You're one of the heroes of Sandrock. Uh, yeah, sure. You know my brother, right? Seen him around, at least, right? A pen in hand, nose always buried in a book. He's supposed to be here, as a matter of fact. Uh, Ernest, are you talking about? Luna! There you are. There's my big brother. What happened? You said you were just coming for a visit, and now you live here? Well, you know me. I change my mind about as often as you change your hair color. Oh, come on. I change my hair way more. No, oh, I missed you so much. I missed you too. Right. Is everything okay at home? Home? I haven't been back in a long time. I've been doing shows down south lately. But I read in the newspaper that Ma won another singing award, and Pa's newspaper is getting bigger. 
I love it here. Everywhere is sand and cactus. It's just so wildernessy. And you, Ernie, is everything okay here? <laughs> yes, I kind of felt the same way. But it's rare to hear that from you. Everything is good for me here. I've made a lot of friends and even gotten more inspiration. I've just been talking with your friend here. So this is the five-star builder you told me about? That's right. My friend is now famous throughout the whole Alliance. I'll say. And hmm... Sandrock is also becoming more and more famous within the Alliance. I'll have to book more shows here in the future. So, you're headlining the summit? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you'll make the same mistake as last time and sing the wrong lyrics like you did at Atara Fest. You... <laughs> There's no way I'd make the same mistake twice. Just wait. I'll give the most perfect performance of my life in Sandrock. Sorry, I have to go rehearse now. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye. I'd better help my sister out. Enjoy the summit. Well, that's a lot to start the day with. Uh, all right, so I do have a main storyline quest apparently waiting for us. Uh, where is it? Uh, over by Arvio's. Okay, well, we can head over there. I guess I'll head back to the shop first just to make sure I don't have any mail or anything. Uh, Grace, what are you doing here? Something I can help you with? Hmm. General Ling just signed my death certificate not long ago, and we came face to face again. Awkward. Well, I think he understood right away, as after a brief moment of confusion, he gave me a wink and moved on. My secret seems safe enough for now. I guess it's easy to fade into the background with you at the party. They're tripping over each other to ask about all your achievements. Can't say I blame them. If I were them, I'd want to meet you too. I'd hope so. Sure is strange, huh? You used to be that new builder in town, and I used to be that random girl who overcooks your omelets. And then, well, yeah, all of this. Don't get me wrong, I'll always have great admiration for everything you've accomplished here, but I just can't see you as a celebrity. To me, you'll always just be you. But, well, uh, yeah. It looks like they need something over at table four. Catch you later. Uh, I could take her on a play date again finally, uh, but Bye. let's go ahead and just uh, let her go take care of table four, was it? She's got a busy day. Uh, Blue Moon Saloon's going to be rocking, I assume. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that just went to my inventory. And no mail. So we're all set there. I did go through my inventory just a little bit and sold some stuff and put some decorations up in the house. Uh, when I say to put up decorations in the house, that means I just took some stuff that gave me some extra stats and threw it anywhere it would go onto a wall. <laughs> that's basically all I did. Uh, do I want to do any quests today? Yeah, we'll see what's up here. Uh, you want white copper? That's kind of interesting. Uh, Mabel wants white copper? Okay, we'll do that. I got it. Uh, titanium aluminum alloy. Do I have any? Not a whole bunch. Um, organic ceramic sheets. I got those. All right, we'll do that. Just to, just to keep myself in first place on the builder's charts, you know. Uh, I don't think I got those. No, we don't. And bio crust, do I have? I have 234 bio crust. I think I can afford to give away three, so we'll do that. Oh yeah, Amira, remember, remember Amira? <laughs> it's been a long time, but yeah, she's uh, she's she's around town somewhere. All right, so I got all the quests to hand in, but let's go see what's going on at Arvios. Maybe Musa is over there. Avoid water pollution. Well, we 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 try. What's sparkling over here? I don't remember seeing these little sparkly things here before. Not too sure what's going on there, but okay. Maybe there's trash on the ground. Maybe that's what it's trying to show me, but I didn't see any. Alright, and around here, and cutscene. Somewhere here. Smile, Avery. I know you'd rather be back at headquarters, 
but everyone's here to welcome us. If only General Ling hadn't insisted that I join the summit. Hey, you've been to Sand Rock before. I'm sure you're missed here. It's true. Where have you been, Avery? Um, I'm not sure about that. Uh, I mean, I don't know Avery that well. But... I'm going to say I'm not sure about that. Ah, uh, glad to see you again, Builder. This is my colleague, Mr. Gowdy. You must be the Builder everyone's been talking about. The pleasure is all mine. I can't wait to see what you've accomplished in Sanrock. Mr. Gowdy is our Chief Engineering Consultant, a very capable Builder himself. He's working with us on the planning of the North Development Plan at the Borders. We're lucky to have his help. I'm sure you'll have a lot to discuss. Yes. And here's Avery, trying to shrug me off and secretly plotting his revenge against Duvos. I only have the safety of the Alliance in mind. I often have to remind this guy that the whole point of the development plan is to keep the peace for as long and as wide as possible. That's why we're focused on bringing in talented people and resources to those areas. While everything is in the early stages, it presents a fantastic opportunity for someone like you to become a settlement governor if you join the plan. They oversee the design and development of an entire town, going beyond the limits of a workshop yard. Um, sounds fun or challenging or too bad I can't say both. Uh, so I'm going to say it sounds fun. Absolutely. It's hard work, but in an exciting way. I'm looking forward to sharing our progress with other representatives at the summit and getting their input on our next steps. Or we could discuss with the reps of the possibility of forming a fast response plan in case Duvos ever plots another move. In any case, it was good seeing you again. And an honor to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see plenty more of each other tomorrow at the banquet. Till then. Um, so is that going to be it for the main storyline of the day? Wait, were you one of the people that came off? No, I don't think she's one of the people that, that came off the train or anything like that. Uh, can I go into... Well, Trudy's right there, so they're not really discussing anything yet. Uh, here's Musa. Albert. That's his name, Albert. Yes. Well, I'm certainly glad you all managed to change my mind about this place. I stand by my original assessment. Most of the folks around here are, let's say, unconventional. <laughs> but you all got the job done and then some. There's one thing I was always curious about. How exactly did you all manage to... <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it's better not to know how the sausage is made. And Albert. You know, I really wouldn't mind sitting in on a fashion seminar hosted by Mr. Pablo. Alright, so I can interact with them, which is cool, but I'm not really getting much other than a one-line statement, basically. Let's go hand in my quest for the day, at least. Since I have everything with me. Uh, no, nope, interact. There we go. Howdy. Hello. Uh, there's your organic ceramic sheet. Thank you. Nope, nope. Don't turn your back on me. We're not done talking. Well, look who it is. Builder. Weapon master. Detective. Savior of our fair city. Looks like things might be cooling down for a bit after this. Thought about maybe picking up a new hobby? Well, somewhere down the line. If you ever wanted to think about playing in the band, we could use a drummer. Okay. Your world synthesizer is alright, but nothing compares to that human touch. And who knows how long it'll last. You've got soul. Just need to get a set and start practicing. Well, we'll be around. Would be nice to get a chance to help you out with something after all you've done around here. You think on it. 
So Hugo wants me to become a drummer in the band with Cooper. Not sure about that. Hi there. Thank you. Not sure what you're doing with white copper bars, Mabel, but uh, okay. Howdy, neighbor. That's one thing that never changed, huh? Oh, and thanks about always being good about zoning your fence just outside of our property lines. Uh, okay. Of course, it didn't make no difference to me, but you know Coop. He got out there with the measuring stick a few times. Let me give you a small piece of advice. One that has never let me down. Be kind to everyone you meet. Because you never know who somebody might turn out to be. What kind of fool would I have been to not offer a sand roll to our new neighbor who turned out to be the best builder in the free cities? Bien. Also, being <laughs> kind is its own reward. But it's nice to have incentives. I can talk recipes with you? <laughs> oh, hi there, dear. I seem to have cooked up a tasty new treat. Pizza. On accident. Cooper tells me it's delicious. How about I teach you how to make it? Spend any ghouls, learn recipe. Uh, teach me. <clears throat> now listen. Well, I ain't tell you a little something. Use a frying pan and throw in these flour, yak meal, milk, meg, uh, me, meg, meat and egg. What? That, you know, okay, combine it. It's meg. And uh, you'll make a pizza. Pizza does sound good. I may have one after I get done recording this. Um, so we got one more. Oh, yes. Uh, it's going to be down at the moisture farm. So go hand that in. Just trying to see if I should be talking to anyone else. Anyone over here at the airship? Does not look like it. Yeah, so I thought um, when they said Luna's going to come in and perform, I think I was getting mixed up, mixed up with uh, Penny. Was it Penny that was here and I made the guitar for her? Kind of interesting that uh, she did not come back to perform as well. Alright, hopefully Zeke is in here. I mean, he should be. Why is he always like on the other... Nope, he's over here. Uh, I thought he was going to be on the other side. Thank you. You know, I never expected to succeed. I'd already kind of resigned myself to the fact that nothing was ever going to get better here. I just kept going back into that moisture farm every day because if I didn't, I don't know what else I'd do. It was only when you showed up that I felt like maybe we had a shot. When I showed up? I don't know what I did at the very beginning to make you feel like we had a shot, but okay. And... I tried to bury that feeling. That feeling of remembering. We failed so many times before. I wasn't sure my heart could take one more. So, if it ever seemed like I wasn't excited about something, or something, I was. I was always pulling for you, even if maybe I didn't show it. We lost a lot on the way, getting here. No one could really say it was all worth it. But at least, because of you and all our friends, it wasn't all for nothing. See ya. <laughs> what the heck was that? See ya. Um, <laughs> it seems like a lot of the conversations we're having with people seems like a, you know the story might be coming to an end. We'll have to see. It would be kind of cool, though, uh, when we were talking to the other engineer slash builder about possibly starting up a town or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Go to a place where there isn't nothing and just build everything. Uh, oh, I got two more. Okay, when did those pop up? We got two main storylines that just came up. Let's see. We got one at the Blue Moon Saloon and one at Town Hall. Uh, let's go to the Town Hall one first. So I'll try to avoid getting 
you know, drawn into the Blue Moon Saloon. Probably af as uh, hours pass and scheduled events come up, that's when I'll get the storylines to pop up. Plus opportunity. Um, Profit and revenue are not the same thing. Are we here? Which or brings me to my conclusion. At the end of the day, it's all just supply and demand. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Never invest in something you don't understand. I've done that quite a bit here, honestly. Success <laughs> is preparation plus opportunity. Am I here just to hear the speech? Profit and revenue are not the same thing. Uh, okay, he's going to keep repeating himself. Uh, I think I kind of to need to hear that because I was ex supposed to explain it to Trudy or something, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. All right, then down here, what do we In got here? Sand rockers. Well, shocks. We're some of the most welcoming. <laughs> now I know all y'all didn't come out here just to see me. What is a rutabaga? Well. The free lines now. If a duck ever steals uh, your fish, a, a before you all run over the and place. get your shotgun, now that lady is up there floating around. I, I, I don't, in space. I don't know what's going on there. They wanted us to be the opening act for Luna. I said, sure. A sand. Hey there. <laughs> we'll just interrupt him just for a second to see if he can get back on track. Do mm -hmm. you think Elsie thinks less of me because I can't read good? I can't read that well either. Now, I know all y'all didn't come out here just to see me. What is a rutabaga? Well, the free lines now. If a duck ever steals your wow, fish... Wow, he is just all over the place here. Um, so, <laughs> we'll just leave him be. Uh, so, I don't actually have any other quests to do currently. Uh, let me just check the missions. I think the only thing I'm waiting for is Grace... Grace will be experimenting with the ingredients you gave her. Give her a bit of time and hope for good news. Uh, so we did talk to her this morning. I think that's not going to show up until maybe after the alliance is over. Possibly. Uh, this is her drink stand. We're some of the most welcoming folk on the planet. And yeah, I mean, I, you know what? We'll support her. We'll, we'll, we'll grab a couple. So, uh, let's see. What else could I do today, currently? I, where is... Do I, do I still have the schedule? I hope I didn't get rid of the schedule. Maybe you can uh, double check on that. Uh, what is that? Katori World Construction Plan. Chat log. Where, oh, where would that be? Or did I get rid... I have no idea. I may have gotten rid of it. Or is it still in my mailbox? Maybe looking right at it right here. What's this? Uh, fashion runway. Well, no, we don't need that. Is it still in my mailbox? So I can just double check to see if there's anything I should be attending today. Uh, unread uh, from Burgess. The following plants have matured. Happy gathering. Uh, okay, so we don't need that. You made it successfully predict the winner of the showdown at high noon. All right, we'll delete that from way. Uh, I think this is all stuff I just didn't delete for some reason. The hearing for Logan and Haru. That, that was a while ago. Uh, I got 17 from the Silver Quartz, Elsie, a letter, developers, workshop upgrade. I don't remember upgrading it to a five star, but, uh, okay, that was a while ago. I don't think I kept a, <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if I kept the, uh, the event schedule for the free cities. So, we'll just wait around. Um, I'm not sure what else to really do today currently. So, what I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to go through my inventory just a little bit more. Uh, we're going to wait for the day to kind of get on through. And then, as the evening comes, maybe we'll take Grace back out on a date somewhere. 
Uh, not sure where yet. Maybe we'll go to Katori World. Uh, maybe look at some more stars, which I can't do until uh, nighttime, either by myself or on a date. Uh, but if something else shows up for the rest of the day, uh, we will go and check out the events and see what people have to say. Well, something's going on over at Arvio's again, which I just came from where I sold just a few things. Maybe Moose is going to be over here talking with Arvio. Mr. Musa. You're that young man. I remember now our previous conversation. In fact, I wanted to congratulate you. Congratulate me? Yes, obviously you took all my words to heart. Not long ago, your general store appeared on the first page of my assistant's Emerging Businesses Hot or Not list. You, as it were, <laughs> were hot. This indicates that, by various measures, your store is performing well and your market share is steadily rising. That's right, Mr. Musa. After that, I did everything you suggested, and I started to try to have more foresight. And, I guess you could say, it worked like a charm. So, thanks. No, young man. You should thank yourself. I see the changes in you, and no man is an island. I don't doubt that there are more people in your life other than myself who pushed you to be better either. Yes! The Builder has also helped me a lot. <laughs> Indeed. The impact Builders can make on this world is huge. I believe that with young people like you in Sandrock, development can only get better and better. Thank you, Mr. Musa. So, will you invest in me this time? Is there a need to invest? <laughs> of course. I'll have my assistant get in touch with you. That's great! Did you hear that? I'm finally getting an investment from Mr. Musa! If he's growing as fast as apparently that he is, does he really need the investment? Uh, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but he's gonna get it, so good for RVO. Hey, Deputy Captain, can I interact with you? Uh, I guess we can. Alright, and I don't think, uh, do I have any fish? I think I put the fish away. Um, I really don't have anything for you. See you later, Deputy Captain. You know, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but sometimes I feel like you've become a different person altogether. I mean, in a good way. Like, we were just a couple of dumb kids, and now... Now we've got jobs and stuff. And you're a real professional. Best of the best. Do you ever feel... Feel like running into the forest and knocking over beehives anymore? I do. I think I do. Maybe less than back then, but still, a little. Ah, <sighs> I guess we're both getting older. More mature. There are more important things than beehives. But even if things are a little different now... There's one thing I know will never change. You're always going to be my number one. That feeling hasn't changed a bit. Knocking over beehives, does that sound like a, a fun thing to be doing? Be seeing ya. Well, not a whole bunch has got on in the afternoon hours. Uh, who are you? Hope you'll think about my offer. And hey... If you're ever in town, just look me up. I'm sure we can work something out. You'll have fun. I promise. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. We'll just ignore that conversation. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I think she's from another free city. I'm not sure what offer she's referring to. Uh, we're going up here to find Grace, which she's uh, roaming around the city. It's getting to be nighttime, so that's a perfect time to take out Hello. this lovely lady for a date. I'm leaving this up to you to decide. Choose something good, please. All right, so uh, a couple things we're going to do. Uh, I think since I got a whole bunch of fireworks from my inventory, I made sure I had one of every color. We're going to go ahead and light some fireworks off. And then I'm hoping by then, which it should be, 
we should be able to go over and look at some stars and then maybe go to the theme park. I can't remember if it was Grace I took here to do fireworks. I think I've been here maybe a couple times. Uh, yes. Ooh, let's see some fireworks. Green and yellow. All right, well, uh, uh, green, um, trying to think of what, what I should design here. I don't know, it's going to set up a whole bunch. And then we'll go up to yellow. Not enough. I don't have any yellow fireworks? I thought I checked everything. Um, apparently I didn't. Well, okay. Well, Grace is just going to get a whole bunch of green ones then. Um, oh, you know what? I'll put some red ones down. She may not like it as much. Kind of looks a little bit like a tree. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe not. Not enough room to play. I, I can't place fireworks over here. Have no idea. Uh, we'll put some purple ones. Oh, no more room for fireworks, period. All right, that's fine. Uh, light the fireworks. Sure. Okay, it's kind of an upside down tree, but uh, so be it. You know, watching these makes me think of the old world. Touching to know that we've all looked up at the same sky and reveled in the same awe. Uh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Alright, so we did get plus 11 on that. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I had some yellow fireworks, it would have been a little bit better. But, you know, I'll take the plus 11. Alright, we're going to go over and see if I can find some stars. Time we go over there. Uh, there is something going on for a main quest, but I'm with Grace, so everything's got to be put on hold. Oh, I bet you it's at the Blue Moon Saloon where Luna is doing her concert. Well, let's just scooch up here. We'll wait until 20 hundred and we'll see if we can find some more stars. I feel like I'm going to find one. Possibly. Just gotta wait a few minutes. All right, let's see what we got here for stars. I hope we can see some constellations. Uh, goose, cub, and the crown. Uh, wait, did I not look for the crown last time? Maybe I did. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Not sure what this mess of stars are, but we'll just check it to be sure. No, that doesn't look like it. Okay, I don't feel like I'm going to find anything. Back to where I was before. Looks like a rabbit. <laughs> a circle. Yeah, there are other, the constellations I found before, like, I believe I found that before. It's not showing up. Yeah, the crown. I'm not having any luck. Every time they ask for that, I can't seem to find find the crown at all. 
I wasn't sure about that, but uh, I had a second left, so. Maybe I'm just tired. Alright, so no points on that, so that kind of sucks. Uh, let's go on down. Actually, you know what? Can I take Grace over and do a storyline with Grace? I'm pretty sure it's just a concert going on. Oh wait, there's something going on here. Uh, okay. Maybe I can't when I'm on a date. Bitter, murderous, megalomaniac, but with this one simple piece of advice, I turned my life, which brings me to my next point. These How conversations uh, <laughs> that I have to go to, it seems like they don't, they, they can't finish a conversation, they go from like one thing to another rapidly, uh, so it's kind of hard to sit there and listen to them. Cooper was around for quite a while, rambling on. All right, we're going to go down to Katori World, and we'll run down there. Grace is in good enough shape, better than I am, probably, and she's keeping from me no problem whatsoever. I can't remember if she likes the roller coaster or not. Can I, I mean, can I actually take her on a play date down to Katori World? I wonder if anyone from the free cities have come down to Katori World to enjoy all the rides that she has to offer. One thing um, I don't seem to uh, that I have to pay to get in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has to. I was going to say, can Grace come in without paying? <laughs> Apparently so. Now let's head over to the roller coaster because we know we can ride on that. But is that a date thing? Let's see here. Ride the roller coaster. Ride the roller coaster together? Yes, confirm. I think we have done this before, though. Can't remember if it was with Grace or not. Oh, eight. I saw eight. We gotta keep track of the numbers. Uh, eight, one. Eight one four. I think I probably missed the number at the beginning, but as long as we get, so I saw eight one four. So we got to look for a number in that order. This performance is about to begin. Shall I head towards the Blue Moon stage? Uh, hang on a second. The fireworks in the middle were a real surprise, though. Do you remember eight one four? Well, we saw that eight one four. It's just like the hazard awareness test in Atara. You waste it. All right. Um, can we... The dune buggies. Uh, we've been trying to take those out for a spin. And let's go over. I did come over during the daytime at one point. And I could not get onto the dune buggies. So we'll see if I can get on them in the evening hours. If I miss Luna's performance, well, it's not what I intended to do, but I don't know how late she performs. Probably been better if I play carousel, wait, play carousel, not ride together. Oh, we're not even sitting in the same, same carousel. 
I'm looking for numbers or something. Should I be paying attention to something? I have no idea. Chain view. All right, we can just exit, I guess. If it was a little faster, I'd be like the machines we had back in tra at training. All right, let's see if we can get on the dune buggies for the, our first time. And probably the last action that I can do on the play date. Maybe I got to come over to here. Is there a sign over here that says interact? Like the other rides. Yeah, it does not look like it's something that we can do. Well, Grace, uh, you know what? You know, we'll run back together. Let's go to Blue Moon together, actually. We probably won't do nothing there, but I'll end the date there, and hopefully we can catch Luna's performance. Uh, I don't know if I can get there within the hour, but I'm guessing she probably quits at midnight. Well, we made it back to the Blue Moon, but it is past midnight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the date here. My service to the free cities is all made worthwhile when I get to spend some R&R &R with you. Thank you. Today was perfect. But, what? Okay, that date ended uh, at the right time, I suppose, or maybe I can't Luna, take. We love you. Maybe I can't go We're on dates to storylines. <laughs> I have no idea. Luna, Luna, Luna. Look up at the sky. You can't help but wish as the stars pass you by. In ocean of wonder, we're standing under. Won't you answer why? I still believe completely that our hearts were meant to sing. And in my dreams, you're dreaming next to me. Fantasy. See, I should have taken Grace to the concert. That should have been a thing. Now everyone's just going to stand around awkwardly looking at Luna. Okay. <laughs> everyone's like, yeah, this is getting kind of awkward. So everyone's like, scatter. Everyone scatter. Uh, being almost one o'clock in the morning, I assume everyone's going to be headed on home, which is what I should be doing as well. Uh, I think all the main quests are done. I don't see anything showing up. 
I'll go up to the town square just for a sec to make sure. Princess Lumi, have not seen or even heard of you since, I don't know, ages ago. But uh, welcome back to Sandrock. But yeah, I think that wraps up for the first day of the Free City conven Convention that's going on here. Uh, and I think tomorrow we'll be getting on the airship or something of that nature. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. I don't know if Matilda's going to make it a reappearance. It's getting late. You should get some rest. I know. Got another big day for tomorrow. But that is where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you again right here at my time at Sandrock. But until then, have a good one.